corruption affects all of us. It's a global challenge. There is no doubt about it. It's a matter of concern to the entire world. I don't think any country can afford to look away. Big scale corruption or what they call corruption involving vast quantity of assets is not just indicated by the amount, by who is doing it, but more by the impact and the effect on those who are affected by big scale corruption. Now mind you, corruption is not just when you abuse position for financial gain. There could be a general abuse of power, say in decision making, for example. If, if you are supposed to take certain steps towards, say, recruiting staff. And instead of going through a transparent process, you choose to bring in your friends, your sister, and all that, who may not have the capacity to do the job, he will not be able to fulfill his objective. So if he's not able to fulfill his objective, that will have an impact on other sectors of the society and the economy. I mean, the challenges are many. For the first, of course, um, the level of cooperation. The multi-jurisdictional effect of that kind of corruption requires that you have to work with many countries, usually with different laws, sometimes with different legal systems, and you have to meet each of those standards. Thank God I'm not alone in this problem. So a network like this, first of all, creates the opportunity to bring people together who are facing common challenges from different angles, different perspectives, perhaps at different levels. It's good relief to know that there are people out there who are watching your back. <laughs>